All right, guys, here we are. Uh, I'm gonna start editing the images from the live that we did the other day. Um, and just to save a little bit of time, um, I've already went through and called down to the handful or so that we're gonna deliver to her um, and already ran them through portraiture. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is just show you how I would edit these and uh, kind of let you see a difference uh, in the way that the preset works. Now for this setup here, because of the candle glow, I absolutely love using Willow. And you'll see why in just a second, but it adds just like the right amount of yellow to the skin color, skin tones um, on the majority of our clients. And it seems to make the candles glow just a little bit uh, more as well. But uh, here we go, let's get started. The one thing that I don't do a lot of in the fireplaces, I don't do a batch edit because I do use the flash. I go through these more image by image just because sometimes I do move the light around like you saw and I forget to change a setting on it or um, get it back to the proximity of what it was. But you can see what it did to the image here where it really made uh, made that yellow pop just a little bit more added a little bit more blacks now the one thing I'm gonna do because this is a little dark for me is I am gonna pop the blacks back up on this one just so I could bring a little bit of the detail in the fireplace back in this right here and the other thing I'm gonna do on this is I think I want to raise the exposure just a little bit but then you can kind of see a little bit more of the detail come back into the image now the one thing with the presets is Jasmine does like grain so I do go through and remove the majority of the grain from the uh, edit. And then because we do run portraiture, I do remove a lot of the noise reduction as well. It's something that's really not needed. Now, if you want to save your time on her, I really didn't have to run portraiture. I just did it because it's more of a uh, habit and something we do. Uh, but she had perfect skin. Um, so if you just wanted to run the preset, that's something that you can do, but I'm happy with this right here. I like the way that this looks, and I'm done. On the next image, I'm going to go with the Willow 1D again, and you can see what it did to her skin tones and the yellows and all that. Really love it. I'm done. It's a one click. I'm just going to change the noise reduction again. The detail. and the grain and move on to the next one but with this lighting here being pretty much the same let's go ahead and try a, uh, a batch edit and see what happens and then I can just save myself a few clicks and be done but you can see the images change colors down here and there we go really like that And on this here, I don't like the crop. So I'm going to, I was trying to keep a little bit of candle in there, but I don't like the crop at the knee. So I'm gonna leave it just like that. And there we go. <clears throat> Again, the lighting here on these next couple images are close to the same. Drop back down. There we go. Sorry, talking to myself for a minute there. I'm gonna change these guys here while I'm down here. And then that's a little dark for me still. Cause I remember I moved the flash and I didn't quite set it back where I wanted. So there's that. I'm gonna bring the blacks back up in the fireplace. And I'm happy with that. So let's see what happens here. Let's just go through. And just do one big batch edit. 
We'll watch for all the images across the bottom to change. I'm gonna fast forward this. And now you can see that all the images have been synced, they've all changed. So let's just go through image by image now and change the, the exposure just a little bit. I'm gonna drop this one just a tad. Done. Mm, this one's a little bright. Let's drop the exposure a little bit. Let's drop the highlight as well. Back down, but I'm happy with that. Love this one, not doing anything to it. There's a closer up. Let's drop this one down just a little bit. Now, where they're looking, same thing, I'm gonna drop that down just a little. But this is how I edit all of our clients, all of our models. Um, I'm happy with that. A little high, a little bright. Turn those highlights down on our chest just a little. Done, I like that. Nice booty image. The one thing I will do on this, I don't mind the lighting underneath the door here, but I don't want the handle in it. That's just something that is personal, but I'm done with that. I think I'm done with, let's drop the exposure just a little bit. I like that right there. This here is one of my favorites from this set. I absolutely love this. I'm done with that. This here, I wasn't worried about her feet when we were shooting because I usually bring this in closer because I really want to show off this curve right here that she's got. Bring that in. Bring that. We're done. Same thing on this here. Wasn't really worried about her feet. Because I know I was gonna bring it in closer when I was editing this. And that is done. Drop the exposure just a little. Bring this crop in a little and then drop it down to there. Good with all the lighting on that. I'm just going to crop it in a little bit. Here. And I am happy with that. And on this image here, we switched over to the 35, and you know what, I'm good with that. So, oh, one more. This image here, we switched to the 35. So what I wanna do on this, is bring it in just a little bit there. A little there. And a little here. And then we're done. So that's usually how much time I spend editing a section. Her fireplace was done in a matter of uh, 12 minutes, 15 minutes or so. And then we just edit that way throughout uh, uh, the rest of the client shoot. So I hope uh, you guys enjoyed this and we'll see some of you Sunday in Florida. Bye guys.